Hello. In this video, I will show you how to make your standard slide become 3D creative and good slide with only PowerPoint. So I hope you find this video tutorial valuable and exciting. I am Toto from a good tutorial channel. Let's start. First, you must make a blank presentation and choose a blank layout. You can see the video for step to create a blank layout. After making a blank layout, insert images for the background presentation. On the Insert tab, in the Images group, click Pictures and then click this device. If you want to search for images online or from stock images, click Stock Images or Online Pictures. Type in what image you're looking for, then click on which images you want and click Insert. You can find online pictures with free royalties at unspla.com or pexels.com. Click the image and go to the picture format tab. Click on crop, then crop the image you inserted before, like this video. Now it is time to insert a 3D object into your presentation. Go to Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, click 3D Models. In 3D Models, you have two options for inserting 3D models. If you have 3D models on your computer, click this device. If you do not have 3D models on your computer, you click on Stock 3D Models. Drag the image handles in or out to resize your 3D model. Use the 3D control to rotate or tilt your 3D model in any direction. Just click, hold and drag with your mouse. Rotation icon to rotate your 3D model. There are specific 3D file formats that can be inserted into PowerPoint slide. After inserted 3D model, follow the step on the video to resize and position the 3D model. After finishing positioning the 3D model, duplicate the slide two times. Right-click on the first slide and click Duplicate Slide. And repeat that step one more time. Add some text and elements to complete the first slide. After editing the first slide, go to the second slide and right-click on the 3D model to open the Format 3D Model Settings. On Format 3D Model Settings, click on Presets to rotate the 3D model with presets that PowerPoint provides. You can also change the rotation 3D model by using X, Y, or Z rotation under Presets. Crop background image like the video tutorial. And add some text and elements to complete the second slide. Add Morph Transitions on the second slide by selecting Second Slide, then going to Transition and choosing Morph. Go to the third slide and follow the step in the video tutorial. Add some text and elements to complete the slide. And apply the morph transition on the third slide. 
You can also download the presentation file and link on the description video. After many elements we give in the presentation, the most important thing is that you have to experiment with yourself to determine a better presentation. Maybe you will find a way to make a better presentation than in this video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Toto and see you in the next video.